I'm Song Kyung Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make galbi tang. Galbi means ribs, and tang means soup. This is kind of royal dish in Korea, and it's amazingly hearty and delicious. The first ingredient you will need is ribs, obviously. And most of the time in Korea, when we call galbi tang, means beef galbi tang. So you will need this two and a half pounds of beef short ribs. And beef short ribs it has a lot of this well marbled delicious meat is attached, and it's amazing after you made the soup. In traditional way, you have to soak these ribs in cold water 8 to 10 hours to get rid of all the blood so the soup will turn out really clean. But my mom never does that because she's always kind of like, bali, 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 like really hurry up everything and she has no patience. <laughs> so she found the trick to do it, which is blanch these ribs in boiling water for 10 minutes. It will do exactly the same thing and the soup is just as delicious or more. So, let's blend this in boiling water. Drop all the ribs into boiling water. Blend the ribs for 10 minutes over high heat with no cover. So all the unwanted smell from the bones will evaporate the air. So meanwhile, we are blending the ribs. We are going to prepare our vegetables to make the soup. The first, you will need one and a half pounds of Korean radish, we call mu. Uh, if you can find it, please use it. But if you cannot find it, no worries. You can use um, Japanese daikon that will work as well. But if you can find this, this is the best one to use for this soup recipe. So I'm just going to just peel the skin and cut off the edges. Mm -hmm. And cut one bulb of garlic into half and three slices of ginger. You can peel the skin, but I just like to leave it as it is. And the well-washed onion, we are going to use the whole entire thing with no peeling, but I'm just going to cut the edges off so all the little clumps won't fall apart into the soup. And the last is three green onions. These are like really fat green onions. So if your green onions are like really skinny and small, please use about five to six of them. So like this much. We are just going to use a uh, whole entire thing, so I'm just going to set aside right here. And I think my ribs are done blanching it. I'm going to drain and rinse off the ribs and the pot as well. Now the clean pot, I'm going to add all the blanched and rinsed very clean beef short ribs in it. And the radish as a whole it is on the side. Onion with the peel that well wash it as a whole again. Like just in here. And the garlic. Ginger slices. And last, green onions. Just cut it in half like so and put it in. Since we are using whole vegetables, you need to make sure wash it through very well so no dust getting into the soup. And we are going to pour 15 cups of cold water. Now we are going to woo, bring this to boil with no lid. Meanwhile, we are waiting for the soup to start boiling. It's perfect timing to soak your glass noodles, we call tangmyeon, into warm water. I'm going to use five ounces today, but it's really depending on how much you love these noodles. You can use more, you can actually omit as well if you don't mind. It seems like everything lined up perfectly. My soup, when it starts boiling, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and cover. We are going to simmer them for two hours. During the simmering time, we are going to skimming all the scums and the fat out with this my special Asian skimmer. This is really convenient because you can skim all the scums and the fat. After two hours, we are going to take all the vegetables out because they are done with their job. You don't have to keep all the vegetables. There is nothing to do with them anymore because all their flavor melt into the soup. But only one vegetable, the radish, we are going to keep it right here and we are going to slice them and serve into the soup together with galbi. 
and after all the vegetables come out, do the last skin, all the little bits of the garlic or onions that you will find on the bottom, take all that out to make the soup really clean. All right, let's just slice this radish. Slice the radish about quarter inch thick. Really hot, be careful. And taste one right now, it must be really sweet. Mm. 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 Just radish itself is so good. <laughs> the last thing we need to do for galbi tang is slice green onion for garnish. We are going to season the soup with half tablespoon of light soy sauce and half tablespoon of fish sauce and add half tablespoon to one tablespoon of salt for your taste. All right, right before you serve, bring the galbi tang back to boil so that it will be super hot when you serve on the table. So the first thing, if you actually did this part, the glass noodle, it soaked about two hours now. I'm going to place this into a serving bowl. No worries, it will cook with this boiling hot galbi tang. I'm going to place some cooked radish that we sliced earlier. Just put on bottom like this, as many as you want, baby. And carefully pour the soup inside. And topping with some green onions and some black peppers if you like to. Is this beautiful or what? You tell me, because to me, it's freaking beautiful, lovely, delicious galbi tang. <laughs> I'm super excited. <sighs> mm. Serve galbi tang with some salt and pepper mixture so people can actually dip their ribs into this salt. The meat is super tender. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. If you liked my galbi tang recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longast and this is Asian at home and I will see you next time. Bye!